as we live in this world, there is always that one significant moment that changes our life forever. In October of 1985, there was one song that changed our lives forever. That was called We Are the World. Anyone remember that song? <laughs> 30 years later, the humanity and the collaboration that we have put together with that song still stays in our heart. And some of you were not even born, but you still know the song. And the producer of this song is Ken Cragen, who's here with us today. What do you think about our relation of career, service, or life? Critically important that you design what you do in your life to fulfill the things that you want, and you design your career to fulfill the things that you want out of your life. Uh, I'm going to really talk to you about a new way of thinking about your life and your career. And, um, you know, this is, I start every single class at UCLA with this statement, that your career is not your life. Your life is one of the tools that you use to have the best career possible. Wherever you are right now in your life, wherever a company is in the life of a company, you know, wherever business is in the life of that business, wherever product is in the life of that business, you're on a plateau that if you do nothing to support it along the way, it's going to erode. You jump to a higher plateau, then you'll see you have a much longer road and you can prop that up along the way and so on. And what happens, as we'll talk about in a minute, is you need to create an explosion of activity to jump to those higher plateaus. Kenny called me one day and he said, you know, Careers are either spiraling upwards or they're spiraling downwards. And he said, you know, I'm not sure quite where my career is right now. I said, no, 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 Kenny. So I explained the small plane theory to him, right? And I said, Kenny, the plane that you're on is up so high right now that if we turn the power off right now, it will glide long beyond your lifetime. Your career and your popularity and everything will last long before your lifetime. Complete silence on the other end of the phone. I'm waiting for him to respond, and he says, You know, Kim, I think I'm planning on living a lot longer than you think. <laughs> True story. You can't sell anybody anything unless you get their attention. Okay? And to do that, you've got to do something that's unique or special. It's got to be based on real substance, it's got to be unexpected. UCLA back in the 80s. I've been teaching there a long time. And I had to go back and look for 100 hours at my, I mean, I spent about 100 hours trying to figure out when was I successful, when wasn't, uh, what happened. And I, I suddenly fell upon this concept that it took at least three impressions in a concentrated period of time to get anybody's attention. I'm an astronomy buff. In fact, I'm working with the Jet Propulsion Laboratory right now on a probe to Jupiter, and I'm very active involved in astronomy. And the astronomers and scientists announced that they had found a law of threes in the universe, a true law of threes in the universe. I was thrilled to hear that because although I'm using it as a tool for you to use, and I'll show you examples of how you can use it in a few minutes, but there is something about threes, okay? I always did it. I always thought it had to do with momentum. I always used to say to people, look, you know, what, I'm, what I do is when I have one thing going, I pile on another and another and I create momentum. I suddenly realized, no, no, no. It was had to do with three impressions in a concentrated period of time. And, you know, take a look at these pictures. Somebody sent me about 30 of these. I'm gonna show you about five or 10. But take a look and think as you're watching these, would they be as dramatic with one or two? Thank you.
I want to call the end. Uh, <laughs> shows you the magic of threes and how you can use it. But remember, and I'll keep harping on this, it's got to be in a very concentrated period of time. It happens in a week, it happens in a day. It doesn't even happen in a month. It's a very concentrated period of time. The key in the event strategy, the magic of threes, is putting these things together in a really, really concentrated period of time.